Okay, hello, welcome, Masha Light Eagle Whispers Healing with my ancestors, and I'm going to do a session for Christine. Uh, hello, Christine, and she's uh, on the phone with me, <laughs> and uh, we are going to do a session. So, is it a general session, Christine, or is it just, um, or is it anything specific that you have in mind? Um, well, it's always my ex that uh, I'm, I'm curious about. Um, right. So, is there, we can do, like, I, I want to know in general what's going on. Um, but can I also ask one other question of what, what is he thinking or feeling about me at this point in time? Okay, so you just want to ask a question about him, of how he is feeling. Okay, Am I, I, just, I mean, I'm trying to understand because uh, do you want to do this session up on him and, and a reading up on him or is it up on you? Mm -hmm. No, upon, upon me, I, I, I want to know about about me. Just that one question. It's on him. Thing. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, I'll pull some cards upon this and see how he feels about you. Let's see. Okay, so let's take some cards. So the first thing that is coming up is uh, you're receiving the birds and that for me talks about that. Um, he's thinking about communication. It's like he's hearing a little bit about you when it comes to people. It's like he would like to know what is happening around you, um, maybe, uh, and so on. So I think that there is some sort of curiosity. And he wants to heal uh, something that has to do with your relationship. It's like he wants to, be, it's like he is trying to be more positive towards you when it comes to thoughts and build up some sort of communication uh, with you. Um, uh, yeah, build up some communication because you're receiving the letter you're receiving um, together with the uh, with the clover. So he wants to build up uh, communication with you, which um, is good. But at the same time, he can't make up his mind if you guys should communicate, you know, on your own or if you should communicate, you know, among other people and so on. So I think that that's one thought. Um, uh, he's thinking about things that have happened in the past and how he cut everything in the relationship, I guess. And he's trying to be somehow optimistic and positive about everything that, you know, happened. And uh, I think that he's sorry that he um, stabbed you or that he hurt you. I think that there is some sorry there uh, from him. And then the last cards uh, talks about that he, he wants to restart something from a beginning, from a start, from a new perspective, and he wants to be successful uh, in what he's up to and doing. And he's still working on his feelings towards you because the feelings between him and you didn't you know, disappear. So this is what is coming up in his cards. Is that okay? Oh uh, yeah, I mean that was great. Yeah. Uh huh. So that's what you, that's uh, that's something that he's working on. That's interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Very interesting because you know the situation. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh my. So let's do a session up on you now, and let's see what will come up. So 
So how are things working out for you? Is it okay? Yeah, everything's going pretty good. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Wow, that's good. So are you at work and lunchtime or? Time. I don't know if you can hear me crunching. Yes, I can. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's going to be on YouTube, me crunching. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. It's not a problem. <laughs> okay, Christine. So when it comes to your cards, you're receiving, the first thing that you're receiving talks about that you're going through a huge healing uh, within yourself as a human being and uh, on a personal level and you're cutting away all the negativity that you uh, that have been upon you and uh, you're restarting uh, a lot of things from the beginning you know you're trying to take care of yourself very very much health wise but also see to your daughter uh, uh, see to your daughter because she's coming up and see to yourself, it's like you're putting yourself and your daughter, you know, as number one, and then the rest will be whatever, you know, it will be. So that's what you're trying to do. Um, but this can also talk about that you want to spend some time to be creative and do something a little bit different. So it's like making some sort of change. You're thinking about all the feelings that you have gone through when it comes to um, you know, the past and you want life to be more stable and you it's like you're ready to step into a relationship. You would like to have someone in your life and uh, I, I don't know if it's old, someone old or some someone new, but it's like um, having someone in your life and you're also thinking about your work, with, uh, which is important for you. At your work, there are, it's a place that is quite nosy and crowdy. And I don't know if you're questioning people around you, if it's like, um, if it's, uh, if people are honest and, and, uh, and so on, or if someone is, you know, stabbing you in the back. And at the same time, you're trying to think about it, you're stepping into a new cycle of life. So you're trying to be positive again. And I don't know if you have a friend, um, at work or not but if you do Christine you need to watch out a little bit even if that person doesn't completely mean harm and all that still that person might put you in some sort of um, trouble that can be gossip and things like that and even if that person doesn't have a bad intention it can you know turn and, and be ugly somehow so you need to a little bit um, a little bit watch out there so that you don't get, you know, hurt. You, you, you don't need to get hurt. It's like, yeah. Um, because you're going to be emotional. Uh, whenever the situation, for an example, will happen, you, you might be emotional uh, when it comes to it. And you're going to feel like, how should I resolve this situation? But other people will sort of help out to resolve something around. You're going to be successful. Um, and things are going to build up slowly for you in a good way when it comes to the success. There is a message coming uh, for you. And it's going to be, wow, it's going to be a message... I think that it has to do with your relationship uh, somehow um, because it's go it's something that have been dark that you know uh, and and bad or whatever I should say it's moving forward to you know something more positive and what you are going to uh, start building is you know building up your home and not on your own but together with someone and this can be for example your ex this can be even a new person i'm not sure for me it looks like your ex but i can be you know wrong and you're going to try to be you know hopeful you're, you're going to be you know happy over the situation try to work on your belief but at the same time you're going to be scared so that you won't get hurt like you did in the past um what you need to think about is to put your foot down, be calm, believe in yourself, be step one step ahead, uh, you know, see, you know, all, observe all. 
new opportunities will come up, will open up for you in a good way and a gift coming up your way as well or a huge change which um, which will, uh, you know, do you uh, quite good. There is some sort of travel coming on. It, it doesn't have to, it can be a travel, you know, travel from one country to another, but it, it, it doesn't have to be long distance as well, but some sort of movement. And you are going to uh, study something, it's like studying a subject. And your this person that I'm talking about might talk to you um i wonder if this is your ex will talk to you about um some uh, some is like going through the past going things uh going through the things from the past clearing things out that have been secrets and all sort of in a way so it's something that you're going to you know find out or or so on you're going to be happy over the situation and you're going to feel more stable you're going to feel like you can trust this person a little bit more. And another person is coming into your life. Or, well, if if not another person, then um, then this can talk about that. You're going to receive a message. And as it falls uh, upon him, it means that he's going to start communicating with you. And the, it's going to start with, uh, I mean, the communication is going to, I guess, start spiritually, which means this can be through dreams, this can be through feeling um, each other's energy around and, and so on. And then he's going to sort of turn, you know, turn up in your home. There are going to be conflicts as well, uh, some sort of conflict, but it's nothing that will, you know, hold for a long time as you're going to work on your feelings in, in all this situation and you're going to make some choices together. So, you know, it's not, it's not bad. It's actually very, very good. Yeah, it's great. I'm surprised. <laughs> it's all really great. Um, yeah, well, I'm not surprised, but, uh, let's see how this will work out. I mean, I am seeing your ex, but I can be wrong. Maybe this is a complete new person as well. But for me, it looks like it would be your ex. And that's why I'm saying your ex, you know, that's why I'm referring to him. Because in the cards, it, it looks like that. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, and let's see. Um, so, um, the first thing that you're going to, um, work on is cutting away things that you don't need, find time for things that you didn't have time for, especially when it comes to your daughter. You're going to step into a new cycle as a person. And you're going to work uh, with others. It's like accomplish something with others. You're going to receive a message that will um, that will be. It can be a, a sad message, but it can be positive one as well. Uh, but you need to be a you know step ahead in something. And I don't know if you're planning to take a course or learn something. It's like studying something, and that will help you to establish even more things and you're going to make some sort of changes around your home so there is changes coming upon the next thing that you're receiving talks about that you are going through a healing let's see and that has to do with your health and your depression you're letting go of that and you're cutting away people that have you know, hurt your emotions in all the way. And this is moving on forward slowly, your health and everything. But you're being more stable and you're, you're, fine, you're building up your strength. And you're going to see that you're, you know, going through a huge change. And that change will be, especially when it comes to emotion and how you have felt in the past. How all will end will end that you're going to restart something from the beginning yourself. You're going to work. Uh, you're going to try to apply to get a better place maybe at, at your work. I'm not sure. A friend uh, will talk to you about some sort of success and money. And um, you're going to think in a negative way about something like this. 
And even if it's, you know, not so negative, you you might lose something upon it. So don't uh, put yourself in that situation. So if someone will tell you, come on, let's start do this or that and so on, don't do that. Uh, you know, back off because that, you know, you might lose money if it's putting money on something or I'm not sure what this is about, but just be careful. And then an, a new opportunity is coming up with your uh, ex, I was about to say, because that's how I feel. And the communication is going to, you know, be positive and grow in between the both of you. And he's thinking in a positive, good way about you as well. Even if he's stuck when it comes to feelings and how he feel, he's going to try to work on his goals and dreams and also clear and cleanse his feelings. And he's making a decision if he should get back to you or not. Um, and that is your session, sweetheart. Completed. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, now I am curious about him. I know I know we did the session on me, but I can PayPal you, and can we do it like a reading on him? Sure. Oh, okay. You want to do it now? Yeah, he, he came up a lot in my reading, so I'm curious about him and what's going on with him. Yeah, he actually did. And yeah. uh, I do think it's, it's your ex, sweetheart, because it looks like it. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Do you have a nickname for him maybe or something? Um, oh man, what should I call him? Does he have a middle name? Yeah, Eugene. Eugene. Okay. Okay. So because I, um, I, I don't know if we should say his name up on here or not. We never know if he would listen to this or not. <laughs> so let's just uh <laughs> let's just be it's better to be you know safe than because maybe he'll kick you and me <laughs> no i don't think he would but <laughs> i think that he would be curious and like how in the hell does she know all that i think that that's what he would think i i agree mm-hmm Alright, I'm going to send you the PayPal right now while you're shuffling. Mm-hmm, So let me know when you have done that and when you can listen. And um, I'm ready. I'm done. Okay. So the first thing that you're receiving talks about that he's trying to be stable. He's trying to build up on his stability. Things have been cut around him in um, in the past. It's like something got cut away, or he maybe cut. Actually, he cut. His relationship is uh, what you're receiving. And he's thinking about, I mean, Christine, I'm not joking now. You can see the cards yourself. But um, he's thinking about choices, what to do, and um, the choices, what to take uh, when it comes to the relationship. Uh, and if he should stay there, uh, I mean, come back and, and not. And he wants to straight some things out with you. See, you're receiving the same cards. I'm happy that you did do this reading uh, because I shuffled your cards. You heard me, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they are coming up in the same order as your cards, almost. You can look at this later on. Anyways, uh, so he's, he's, uh, he's going to communicate with you and he's thinking in a positive way. Before he used to be very negative, there were, you know, negativity, but he's working on that. He's trying to be more stable. He had been blocked for some time and he had been very busy when it comes to his work, actually. And he's trying to be smart and, and you know, be a step uh, ahead and um, 
plan everything. And that, you know, his plans doesn't turn out the way he want. And he's seeing his mistakes. And he wants that stableness. And he's working very hard to, you know, he's going to work very hard to build upon it. And he's looking for, you know, new opportunities, new openings. So he's going to, uh, he's going to communicate with someone that will talk to him about his goals, but also what he needs to think about. And that person will give him, you know, ideas on what to do. He's going to receive a message, a letter or message or communicate with someone that will be very emotional for him. And he's going to find himself in some sort of conflict when it comes to gossip. I, mean, I don't know why, Christine, but the first thing that is coming to my head when I'm seeing the, the cards is that he is uh, going to find out lies that his mom have done in the past is what is coming to my mind just to say. So I'm I'm saying it very simple and clear. Do you, do you mind repeating that the, the connection was bad? I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. So he, he's going to receive some sort of message. A message is coming forward to him. And he's also going to think about uh, um, his emotions and uh, something and find out something that it's like finding out the truth about something that I think his mom have done in the past because this is what came from spirit to say, so I'm just saying that. And that is going to be very draining, very emotional for him, uh, very, very much. And he's going to be upset about it. He's going to try to make a change and he's going to cleanse his feelings, uh, try to do, you know, what is the right thing. And he's going to take some time to consider, to build up, you know, stability and to, you know, work on... Uh, his own belief in all this. He wants to be successful. He wants to, you know, build build up family when it comes to his uh, daughter and himself. He wants to have that stable house. And he's going to think about, you know, communicating with you, sweetheart. So he's going to communicate with you to maybe you know, reconcile and uh, get back together. And this uh, communication will be very slow in between you and him, okay? Things are going to move forward, but in a very slow way. And this relationship is going through, is going to go through a healing. It's going to be a restart. And at the same time, he's going to have some problems at work, which um, will be depressing for him. But at the same time, he's going to step into a new cycle when it comes to feeling and love so it's like the other problem even if it's going to be huge for him he's not going to reflect much on on it because he wants to reflect on the relationship so you know something honestly i think that you guys you guys might get together i mean it kind of sounds like it Yes, it does. And his cards are actually, you know, saying the same as your cards. And um, it's uh, it's like, wow. And and what is different in, in his cards as well is that he's going to find out some lie that or lies that his mom have done in the past somehow. Um, have which it, is crazy because have she put... Have she put him through lies about her, I was about to say, and then now you're saying that we have talked, you know, I don't remember everything. Um, <laughs> it's like impossible. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to think about that because that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And she is. Yes, she is. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. It's very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So is that is that um his whole reading? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. So um so things so things at work aren't going well for him then? No, he's having some problems there. And um, he's going to find, try to find some solutions uh, and so on. So there is some problem. And I think that his feelings are catching up with him as well. Okay. All right. Well, 
thank you. That was great. I did want to tell you, um, when you were doing my reading, you said you said something that I literally just said to my friend yesterday. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> um, which you, you said that somebody at work is, like, not telling the truth or uh, backstabbing me. And, I, and right. I just told her this yesterday. I said, you know, I overheard this person saying this, and I was shocked. I heard it myself, and I was shocked to hear that they were saying that because I, I thought they were somebody I could trust. Oh, and, wow. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was like, wow, Asha picked up on that real quick. I was just talking about that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. How cool is yeah. that? Okay, well, thank you. The great readings, as always. Yeah, it will be interesting to hear the outcome of this, actually. <laughs> now I can't wait. I'll, I'll keep you updated. I know you will. <laughs> I know you will. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, yeah. well, well, thank you, sweetheart. And do, you know, do take care and many blessings and hugs to you. And uh, I guess we'll keep in touch as always. And hold on, hold on for a second. So thank you for tuning in. And if you want a session, you're welcome to book one as well. So you can find me on Facebook as Asha Light Eagle or find my Facebook page and message me through there as Whispers Healing with My Ancestors. So blessings and have a good one.